Oh no, my head. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <clears throat> I'm a namaste guys, Christian R. Long, Life Enhancement Consultant. Hope you're having a beautiful and phenomenal Monday evening. It's a rare opportunity here in Denver, Colorado tonight. It's actually been snowing most of the day. Now, granted, it hasn't been heavy down, downpouring snow, overwhelming snow, but little, you know, little inch here, little inch there. So it's, it's building up. We're gradually getting some snow. So if there's still a nice layer of snow tomorrow when we do the Twin Hearts Meditation at 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, I guess we could still do it outside in the evening, right? So for those of you who are joining for the very first time, we do these live streams pretty regularly, seven days a week regularly, where we talk about three main topics, energy healing, meditation, and practical spirituality that was taught to be by my teacher, Grandmaster Cho Kuksui, the modern founder of Pranic Healing and Arhatic Yoga, as well as we do on Tuesday nights from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., we do the live Twin Hearts Meditation. What's going on, Jen? And then we do the live Twin Hearts Meditation on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Mountain Time. So let me know if that fits in for your schedule and if you'd like to experience an extremely powerful meditation, go, if you're on Facebook, go below this video, a couple video or a couple posts below this video, and you'll see the meditation we did yesterday on Sunday, which was the Twin Hearts Meditation with Psychological Healing or Psychotherapy Healing. It's extremely, extremely powerful meditation for emotional mental healing. So as I'm jumping on tonight, the topic I came to mind that I think would be a benefit to each and every person who's watching it live or catches the replay is, <clears throat> here's a question. When is, what's up Marty? When is the best time to get healing? Is the best time to get healing a year from now, two years from now, five years from now? Is the best time to transform your life a week from now, six months from now, 12 months from now? Is the best time to exercise your physical body and have proper nutrition? Hannah, what's up girl? Is that tomorrow? Is that five years from now? Is that 20 years from now? Or of all the questions I'm asking, is it leading to the answer of right now in this very moment? It's right now. The best time to get healing is now. The best time to transform your life is now. The best time to have good health, fitness, and nutrition-wise is now. It's not some time in the future. Because I've realized, and I've had to overcome this myself, because look, as a professional energy healer, I'm surrounded and blessed with a huge community of healers all over the world that I can call up at any time and say, hey, can you help me with this? I require healing. I'm stuck at this part of my life. I have physical pain. I have emotional pain. I have relationship pain. I have financial pain. I have spiritual pain. Can you help me? And nine times out of nine times, that person will say, yeah, let's schedule a healing. Let's make it happen. But you know what? You know what prevents us from making that phone call? You know what prevents us from going online and filling out the application or what prevents us from moving our lives forward? It's negative pride. Clean shaven, sure am. It's negative pride. And what do I mean by negative pride? Negative pride doesn't mean you're a negative person or you're a, you know, you have negative thoughts and negative emotions necessarily. Negative pride is simply covering up your true nature. So what is your true nature? Your true nature is a being of divine light, divine love, and divine power. So if we have a sense that we are capable of more, that we deserve more, we will reach out and bring ourselves to the next level. But if we don't feel we're worthy, if we have low self-image, low self-esteem, low self-worth, lack of understanding, we're not going to reach out because we don't feel that we're worthy. I should only get healing when I have more money in my bank account. I should only get healing when there's a real challenge going on in my life. I should get healing when, um, when it's convenient 
for the other person's schedule. What's going on, Stephanie? Atma Namaste. And all of those things are the stories we tell ourselves. Because think about it this way. You're stuck in some area of your life. You're stuck in your health, your wealth, your relationships, your spiritual growth and development. You're stuck. Something's not moving forward. You're in a rut. And you don't know what the rut is. You can't see the forest through the trees. Okay. So why wouldn't you reach out for help? Why wouldn't you reach out for healing? Why wouldn't you reach out for counseling? Why wouldn't you reach out for coaching? Why wouldn't you reach out for fill in the blank, right? What's going on, Wayne? Because there's negative pride keeping you stuck. So it's better to stay stuck. It's better to stay in the darkness and the lack of awareness phase than it is to shine light on that area of your life to move it forward. Because if you're having financial problems, wouldn't it make sense to work with somebody right now to resolve that financial problem, to skyrocket your growth and development in that area, right? Versus waiting six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, five years, or never. What if you're having relationship problems and you're like, you know what, I'd really like to hire a healer. I'd really like to hire a dating coach. I'd really like to hire somebody to help me with this area of my life. Nah, you know what, I'm gonna stay in the suffering. I'm gonna stay in the, in the darkness of my relationship turmoil. Because we don't feel that we're worthy. We don't feel that we're deserving. We don't feel that we're good enough, right? To hire that person and to, and to move our lives forward. Another factor that determines whether we reach out for help or not is our faith and trust in the person that we are connecting with, right? So you're having a financial problem. This person seems to be a possible solution to that financial problem, but I don't know if that's the right person for me, right? Or you're having a dating relationship problem. You see somebody that specializes in dating and relationships, but you don't quite know if that's the right person for you, right? So we go round and around and around and around and around and around and we never solve the problem and we never move ourselves forward. So what I recommend to people is do your due diligence, do your research, invoke, ask God for help. Thank you God for blessing me with the right person to move this area of my life forward. Thank you great ones for blessing me with the right person to move my life forward. Thank you to my spiritual teacher, to my higher soul for blessing me with the right person to move my life forward. And then do your research, do your due diligence, use your intellectual faculties, and then move on with it, get on with it, right? Because if you're able to solve that problem five to 10 times faster, then that has a huge, huge compounding effect on your growth and development. What's going on, Ada? Atma Namaste. So reach out. A lot of you might make the assumption that because I'm a professional energy healer, I never reach out to other people for energy healing. That is not true. I reach out for healing multiple times and I pay for it. I pay for healing. You're like, wait a minute, don't you do healing on yourself? Yes, the majority of the time, because I've been blessed by a great teacher with a great system, the majority of the time when Christian is suffering in some area of his life, he uses the tools, the techniques, the principles and practices that he has been taught to move his life forward because nobody can walk your path but you. But there are times on that path that you definitely, unequivocally, without any exception, need assistance, guidance and help from another person. So doing the work that I've done for 13 going on 14 years as a professional energy healer, I've seen a lot and I've been able to assist a lot of people with a lot of different things because at the end of the day, there's only so many physical challenges somebody can have. There's only so many emotional challenges somebody can have. There's only so many mental challenges somebody can have. There's only so many financial challenges somebody can have, right? We think that our situation is extremely unique and extremely rare. Nobody on the planet has ever had anything like this happened before, but if you look at the core energy as to why that person is stuck, it's usually pretty obvious. So you could go, well, you could be a CEO of a Fortune 50 company and have tens of thousands of employees under your 
leadership and you can have a tremendous amount of stress and anxiety of leading those people, right? Or you could be a single mom with four kids and two of them have a disability and it causes you a tremendous amount of stress and anxiety of how to navigate that world. But the core energy of the CEO of the Fortune 50 company and the single mom with four kids and two of them have a disability is stress and anxiety. So if you remove the stress and anxiety from both people and you give both people understanding as to how they can move their lives forward, the stress goes away, the anxiety goes away, and they're able to transform their lives. So the core is pretty much going to be the same for every person in every situation. What's going on, Tatiana? I wanna give a shout out to Tatiana because she's pretty much on every conceivable stream that we do, whether it's during the day, during the evening, whether it's during the week, whether it's on the weekends, and she's always promoting pranic healing on her Instagram, on her Facebook, and she's spreading the light of uh, Master Cho Kuksui's teaching. So I wanna give her props for that. I wanna give her a big fat shout out because I'm super, super proud of her. Um, and that's a person who reaches out for healing when she's like, I don't have the answer. Who might have the answer? What's up, Crystal? Atman Namaste. I don't have the answer. Who might have the answer? I don't have the uh, the clarity, who might have the clarity? I don't have the healing ability, who might have the healing ability, right? So that's an indicator of somebody who has humility. Humility is knowing what your strengths are and knowing what your weaknesses are. Knowing what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. Brian, what's going on, son? Atma Namaste, thanks for sending me the email. I have all the info, we'll have you up tomorrow. So that's the nugget, that's the takeaway, that's the the encouragement that I wanna to give to each and every one of you is that look, not one person has all the answers. Even Master Choa Koksui, a great, 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 great teacher has said publicly, the teacher is still growing, learning, and evolving. The teacher still makes mistakes. So if Grandmaster Choa Koksui is still making mistakes at his level of development and what he's been able to accomplish, how much more for the rest of us? are still making mistakes, are still learning, are still growing. So we have to have a, a group of, a mastermind, if you will, to help us move forward. So in the famous book that was written in the 1940s called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, one of the chapters is called Mastermind, Mastermind, where he basically, each and every night, he would imagine having a group of the smartest, wisest, most intelligent businessmen, philanthropists, inventors, um, humanitarians the world has ever known at that time, and he would have a imaginary conversation with these great, great intellectuals. Some of them were still living, some of them weren't. And he would be like, okay, what would Abraham Lincoln do in this situation? And he would just still his mind, and then he would wait for an answer. He would still his mind, and wait for an answer. He would still his mind and he'd wait for an answer. So that was like an imaginary council that he put together to assist him in his physical world. So because we're in the world of the internet and the world of live streaming and the world of coaching programs and healing programs and YouTube and podcasts, we have a plethora of resources that we can plug into and, ex and, and instead of us trying to figure out, a pr figure out all the intricacies of how we can move our lives forward, we just plug in with an expert, bam. Our darkness goes away. The light has been introduced into our lives. So something to think about. If you are stuck in some area of your life, reach out for healing, reach out for coaching, reach out for mentorship, reach out for guidance, put your negative pride off to the side, you don't need it anymore, it's not serving you, it's not helping move your life forward, and reach into your pocket, reach into your creativity, and pay someone um, to help you move that part of your life forward.
Because why continue suffering if you don't have to? What's the purpose? There's no, there's no gain in pain. <laughs> it's crazy. It's 2018, folks. Let's move our lives forward. So I've had to learn it the hard way. I'm encouraging you not to learn it the hard way. It's not worth it. So if I, as this soul, Christian R. Long, what's up, Zach? If I, as Christian R. Long, the soul, can help assist you in your transformation process in whatever area of life you're looking for, give pranic healing a try. If you've never tried a pranic healing session before from a senior practitioner, sign up. Go on to christianrlong.com slash services, find the service, schedule an appointment, and let's make a miracle happen in your life. I love doing this work. We've done many, many hundreds of hours of free content online, all for the purpose, what's going on, Kate? All for the purpose of spreading this information of energy healing, meditation, and practical spirituality to transform people's lives and bring them from where they are to where they ultimately want to be. And that's what it's all about. So I look forward to serving you guys in the very, very near future. Have an amazing Monday night, an amazing week, an amazing life, and I look forward to connecting with you very, very soon. This is Christian Arlong, Life Enhancement Consultant, Wish you amazing everything. Atma, namaste. Bye-bye.